but the entire question of justifying violence, justifying terrorism. Look, demonstrations do happen in, in democratic countries. But the fact that many of those people in, in, in uh, Canada are actually calling for violence, they've been involved with terrorism, and yet there's been a very soft response. How does that tie in with the, with the rule of law? The government and the, and the general public, I would say, are basically in lockstep on this question, that uh, they are locked into an outdated model of the terrorism that is supposedly to be fought. What I mean is that they are locked into the idea that, well, terrorism is bombs going off. And there are no bombs going off. They're not blowing things up. So we're in the clear, right? There's nothing to worry about. Well, the problem, of course, as you rightly noted, is that there is instead a new model of terrorism, which is the propaganda, the disinformation, the misinformation, the burrowing into the political system, and the, uh, the poisoning of the minds of children uh, by a tide, really, uh, an unseen tide by most people, I grant you, but there is a tide of disinformation online. Everybody can be a Khalistani holy warrior simply if they have an internet connection and a keyboard. 